Okay, welcome back. So at the moment we have implemented uh, very good. We have shown the calendar and implementing some functionality. Everything is working great, as you can see. Now today in the session we will implement selecting. You can select a date, a day, and we will implement the add event section. If we go back to the design, we will implement this menu here with the event function uh, add and the select. So let's go ahead. I will start by going to the components. Click on this folder. I'll create another folder called add event.razor. Okay. Code. Perfect. Now, this component receives a parameter which is of type calendar day. I'll call it selected day get and set great now regarding the design i'll go to the file of the design copy this card as it is okay great now this one just contains a form that adds actually the event we want i'll add edit form model Specify the model and on valid submit. What will go on when we submit this for? This one here. I want to change the behavior of this button from a normal button to a submit button. So I'll use type equals to submit. Yes. I want to show also something else, which is the date of the current day here. So h3.ms font size 24.ms font weight regular and I will show you the selected day here I'll type selected day dot date dot to string I want to show it as a full text and to do this uh, there is a full format I don't know what is it, so I'll go here, C sharp, date time, show as full text. Yes, let's open this one. No, not this one. Let's go for this one, it looks better. Yeah, this one, D formats. I want to show it in this way. What is D formats? D formats. Get date time, D formats. Yeah. Capital D. Okay, great. Now let's create the model, which is a calendar event model equals new calendar event okay great and i'll add this model for this one here and let's create the function I'll void add event to selected day now before we do anything here we choose a time so the time uh, we just specify the hours and minutes and also a.m. or p.m. but the date the default date is going to be the current date right now so if I choose that 11 p.m. so it's gonna be uh, 24 May 11 p.m. so I have to convert that to the date of the selected day now to do this I will specify it model dot start date equals a new date time now, this date time, I will use this one. I'll pass here month, day from the selected day and the hour, minutes, and second from uh, the form that the user 
enters. Now I would say selected day dot date dot year. Enter a dot date. Oh my god, what's going on here? Date dot month. Copy it. Day. Now, all the hours and I'll bring them directly from the model. Start date dot hour. model dot start date dot minute for the second it's zero I'll copy this and I'll paste it here what's going on with the formats here okay somehow formatted somehow Okay, this one will be the end date and the end date here. Great, this one also is the end date. So this process just convert the time to a new date within selected day. This is the first step. Now we will check the list of events within this day. If it's not initialized, I will initialize it. I will say if selected day dot events equals equals to null, then selected day dot events equals new list of calendar event. If it is null, but if it's not null, what we are going to do is directly add dot events dot add the model okay perfect now because I don't have the UI that will show us the list of all the events I'm going to print that in the console to make sure that everything is working fine so I'll type console dot right line total events and day selected day events dot count then I will print model dot subject then model dot start date model dot end date okay that's a great and enough for now we will also clear the subject string dot empty now this is everything we want to do for uh, this component let's call just here add event to selected date when we submit the form what i want to add as well is uh, to go to the index dot razor here and call this component let's go back to the design i will bring this okay and here we call add event should pass to it selected day now the last thing i want to implement is selection of the day I want to select a day by clicking on any ticket within this one. For example, clicking on this or this or this should be highlighted like that and selected here. To implement that is a very easy step. I will create a code section. Private calendar day. Selected day equals to new for the first time. Calendar day. So if the user doesn't select anything, by default it's going to be datetime.now. Okay. Uh, 
and this one is going to be selected day. Now the first part has been implemented. Now we still have just to select a day here. Now, as you can see, the calendar goes over every day, each day, and render it in this way. So the selected day, depending on the design you have created before, has a class called selected day. We implement it on this day. So it's going to be highlighted in this, as you can see in front of you. So to do this, I will create a new class called selected day class and if the day right now that the calendar iterates over equals to the selected day then the class will be selected day otherwise it's going to be empty and i will pass this class for that dev the last thing i should implement is to select that day when i click on this dev I should select that day by just putting this value within this private field. So, say on a click equals to a lambda expression and selected day equals today. So, when this value going to be equals to this one because this one will be populated with that day, so the class will be selected day. So that they will be highlighted. Now, till the moment everything is working fine, let's try to run the project again. Build. Okay. .NET run. And let's check that everything is just working fine. Go back to the Blazor calendar, click refresh. Okay, here as you can see, we have Sunday, May 24, 2020. I will choose 2020 here, choose May. Okay, let's try to select a day. Clicking there, here. Okay, awesome. As you can see, it's just working fine. The operations feels so smooth. Yes, that's great. Now, I will try to add an event within 28. I'll type live session q and a at 8 pm to 10 pm let's try to click add okay i cannot see anything because i have to open the developer tools and yes total events in day is one uh, subject is empty and the day is equals to 12 okay what's going on here Let's go back to that event. Yeah, of course, we haven't binded any value. Here we have to say bind value equals to model dot subject. Bind value equals to model dot start date. Bind value equals to model dot end date. This way, should work very fine. We haven't faced any issues in the previous test, so click on that again. Great. Again for the famous month. Choose 27. Live Q and A. 10. Tell 12, yes, let's click, wow, what is this icon? Maybe that website didn't complete the render process. Now let's see, live question from 10 a.m. till 5, 27, 2020, 12 a.m. Okay, just working fine, let's add another one. Another live session at b.m. and till 11 p.m. Cool, let's try to add. Total events in day is not two. So right now the events are existing within that day and everything just working very fine. Now we are ready to move to adding the list that will show all the events within that day, which will make things more clear. Before I leave, let's add just a list comment here. 
to do push the event to the API to be added online in the Microsoft Graph. So we can see that even, even within the calendar on my PC or in all the calendar apps that I have logged in with my Microsoft account. So let's complete our journey by moving to the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, by the way, if you have any question, if anything is not clear, you can just ask me directly. Thank you.